Koichi. Uh, I'm 22 years old, and uh, I graduated from Willamette University uh, in Japanese Studies degree. So I'm, I'm using my my Japanese study major, which is the most fantastic thing in the world. Um, <laughs> fire, haha. <laughs> and uh, I started Tofuku.com, and uh, if you stick around near the end, we're gonna. We're gonna have all the, the Tofugu writers come on video, hopefully, if uh, Viet figures out his problems. We'll see if he does. I wonder if he's here. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have everyone come on, and uh, you guys can ask questions or do whatever do whatever you want to do. Uh, or we can all just sit around and chat, get to know each other. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to breeze through this, this presentation here pretty quickly. I'm not gonna spend too much time on anything. Um, I'm also going to be uh, Giving all of you a PDF of uh, an ebook that I I just recently finished a couple hours ago, <laughs> um, and uh, it basically has all the information that you found here, a little bit more in depth maybe, and uh, here's the key, and you get it before anyone else does, uh, which is kind of cool I think. So uh, and I'll also give you guys a, a copy of the presentation if you want it. I'll just make it all available at the end. So all right. So, for learning Japanese, uh, I'm going to tell you um, ten, 10 great ways to, to learn or to practice your Japanese for free uh, via the net. But I got to say, um, I got to say a disclaimer here that really, if you want to learn Japanese, you got to you got to get yourself a teacher. Um, you got to join a class, find a tutor, something like that. You're not going to be able to learn Japanese, um, at least 99% of you, just by using um, the internet uh, or just using random things without someone to guide you. Doesn't matter who it is. Um, Dante raised his hand. Nothing. Okay. So um, yeah. So you gotta you gotta find a teacher um, later on when you're studying, like you know, three, four, five years into it. Uh, maybe you can pull it off uh, just using using the internet, um, studying on your own, uh, just because you've had that good good foundation, and that's really important. Um, and so all these things I'm going to tell you about there to supplement your Japanese study, um, not to replace Japanese studies. Um, and they'll help you, they'll help motivate you, um, which is a really important thing, I think. Um, and uh, you can, uh, and, uh, may ask a question there, how about a book? Um, books, same thing. Books are better than a lot of things, but uh, it's good to have someone that you can ask questions to and practice uh, listening and speaking. So, um, yeah, motivation is the big thing, and a lot of these things will help you with motivation. Um, and they'll also give you just, you know, just give you things that other, like, teachers can't give you. So it's, it's really a, um, I don't know, a win-win situation if you use both, I think. Uh, <laughs> books should talk, I agree. Maybe in the future. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the... Uh, the top ten, I'm going to start with my least favorite, but they're all my favorites, so um, here's the first one. And there will be things that uh, a lot of you have have seen and probably have heard about, um, especially if you read Tofugu, but there should be some new things as well. So I, I hope no one here has used and seen all of these websites, otherwise I'll feel really bad. Um, so, all right, let's go to the first one. So the first one is Twitter. Um, and Twitter is like this, uh, it's like a microblogging platform. And it's uh, it's kind of all about like what you're doing right now. Um, so like you can write up to 140 characters, and people who are following you, um, they they get your updates, and you can follow uh, other people as well. So um, let's see. So next slide. Um, so how to use Twitter? So basically, you can do uh, updates about yourself. It looks kind of like this, uh, minus the stuff on the right there. So minus this stuff here. Um, I don't know why that's there. <laughs> there was a different picture there before, but my placeholder got replaced. Um, so yeah, so you update uh, people on what you're doing, um, and you know you can choose how much you want to do it. Uh, I usually Twitter once, twice, three times a day. I'm not a very big Twitter user, but um, there's a lot of potential here. And so it's really big in Japan. So uh, <laughs> nice, you guys are all writing your Twitter accounts. Uh, here you can. This one's mine. And so it's really big in Japan. 
it's really big in Japan, and there's a lot of people, uh, in, you know, twittering in Japanese or tweeting in Japanese. So uh, it's it's really great if you can, you know, find a few people that you, you think are kind of interesting and uh, you know follow them. And then the great thing about Twitter is that it's not it's not overwhelming. It's really easy. Um, so like it's these 140 um, uh, character tweets that they call them, and so it's really easy to you know uh, translate these really short. Uh, these really short things, or even to write your own, which are only up to 140 characters. So it's not overwhelming. You're writing just a little bit, um, and you're getting just a little bit of practice all the time, which is really what's important is the consistency. So that's why I love Twitter. Um, the next one is Live Station. And as you can see there, that's uh, that's some wonderful, uh, what's what's it called? Uh, where the the home, home Shopping Network. Thank you, Ryan. Um, home Shopping Network, so, <laughs> and it's Japanese Home Shopping Network, which makes it uh, not really that much more ridiculous, honestly. They're, they're both pretty, pretty ridiculous. So, uh, Live Station is a program um, that lets you watch television from all over the world. So this is live television that's playing uh, anywhere. So, actually, uh, Reed's in Japan. I think he's here. He, uh, he sent, me, sent me this link, because I, I had one that didn't, uh, yeah, there he is. I did, had one that didn't work on Mac and uh, Linux, but this one does, and that's what, what makes it really great. And it's a lot, it's a lot simpler of a program. It, it works better and doesn't crash all the time. Um, so, like I think how it works, I, I'm, I could be making this up completely. Is that uh, people hook up these boxes or these little things to their televisions? I sound like my grandpa now. These little contraptions, yeah. So they hook up these things to their television, and so while they're playing television, they're actually sharing it with the world. So um, you can uh, you can actually uh, see what other people are watching. So when more people are watching something, uh, then um, you get a better signal. So uh, there's there's a bunch of channels, maybe ten channels. Uh, there's not that many channels on mainstream Japanese television, anyways. But uh, I, I found about ten channels. You can search for them. Um, and like I said, the great thing about it is that it, it does work on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, and it's a great program. You can create your favorite channels list. So I just have like 10 or 12 uh, Japanese channels. Um, and one thing that you can do is you can chat with people who are watching the same thing um, at the same time as you. Are other people having trouble with lag? <laughs> I think they are, because... No? Oh, okay. So... Um, so yeah, so there, there's you know there's J drama for whoever asked that, um, and so yeah, the, the hard part is uh, w watching it, you know, at a time in your time zone that actually works uh, for the Japanese time zone, which is often really far ahead. Um, so you gotta watch if you want to get the the prime time stuff. You gotta watch it like three in the morning, uh, unless you're in Japan, of course, or somewhere nearby. Uh, Europe has it a little bit easier, I think. Um, yeah, or Hawaii. You can just watch. You can just watch television in Hawaii. You watch uh, what is it, Kiku or whatever. Watch your algorithm of Shogun. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's Live Station. So let's see. Let's look at the next one. So the next one is uh, it's actually a it's actually just a dictionary, an online dictionary uh, by Yamasa, and I'm only going to focus on one uh, particular feature on this. Um, and this was this was sent to me by uh, Stephen Shores. Um, I don't think it's here, but maybe he is. So uh, he sent me this, and it's uh, it's just a it's just a normal dictionary. But the really cool feature on this one is the uh, is the kanji stroke order search. So you can put in a, any kanji you want, and it'll actually show you a flash animation of, of the stroke order of that kanji. Um, people who have been studying Japanese for a long time, they're not going to have as much trouble with stroke order. But I know a lot of beginners; they have uh, a lot of trouble figuring out what stroke order things need to be in um, and so this is this is a really powerful tool uh, for that and so when you when you search for something um, yeah and when you search for something uh, you get um, you get basically this in the middle part here that's where it shows you a stroke order I took a picture of it when it was all finished um, so and it also shows you all the all the basic things like the on reading couldn't reading and the English meaning um, and so things like that. But really, the, the great thing about this one is the, the stroke order. So, let's see. 
And so that's it for Yamasas.